Did you know that actor Pierce Brosnan once paid $5,000 to type on a typewriter previously owned by John Lennon? Imagine that. And did you know that there are over 5,000 species of ladybirds in the world? Let's see if you can spot the connection. But seriously, the reason why I'm obsessed with the number 5000 in this video is because I've just watched an online press conference from TCL to launch its brand new X955 series of flagship QD Mini LED TV, which features more than 5000 full array local dimming zones and is capable of reaching 5000 nits of peak brightness. Just like how two heads are better than one, TCL has coined the term Dual 5000 Mini LED to describe this technological achievement. In all my years of reviewing TVs, the highest peak brightness I've ever measured from a consumer television was on the Sony ZG9 or Z9G 8K LED LCD TV back in 2019, coming in at nearly 4000 nits at D65 white point, and the TCL X955 is supposed to be able to go even brighter. As some of you may have known by now, I'm a nits nut. I believe a high peak brightness is necessary for an impactful HDR presentation to trigger a heightened emotional response that hits straight to the heart. A few cynics among you might think that a peak brightness of 5000 nits would be too bright. But back in the year 2021, during lockdown in the United Kingdom, I was bored enough to measure the peak brightness of several real-world objects in my garden. It was an overcast day, typical in Manchester where I stay really. And even then, the reflections of a bicycle bell easily measured 3300 nits, and a mere flower, just a flower, measured over 500 nits, while a 5000 nit TV still won't come close to replicating what we see in real life when it comes to luminance, what with the sun at noon being rated at 1.6 billion nits. Fortunately, almost all HDR videos are graded to 4000 nits or below. Most consumer TVs with lower peak brightness will have to perform tone mapping when displaying 4000 nit elements, and depending on the HDR tone mapping algorithm adopted by the manufacturer, the TV can either sacrifice some highlight detail to maintain overall brightness, or reduce the luminance to retain more bright highlight detail. With its peak brightness of 5000 nits, the TCL X955 should be able to display HDR content without tone mapping, therefore preserving both brightness and highlight detail to faithfully reproduce the creative intent. That said, in order to generate the highest contrast, high peak brightness should also be accompanied by deep blacks, and this is where the over 5000 local dimming zones come in. In theory, the higher the number of local dimming zones, the more precise the backlight control, since every zone can be switched on and off independently of each other, allowing one portion of the screen to go as bright as possible while keeping another part inky black as demanded by the input video signal. Some TCL mini LED TVs such as the QM8 in the USA feature more than 2000 local dimming zones in larger sizes, but these figures will be handily beaten by the zone count on the X955, 5184 zones to be exact. This very high number of local dimming zones is made possible by mini LED technology, and let's not forget that TCL was the first TV brand to release a consumer mini LED TV back in 2019, with the X10 series in select European markets. Since then, the company has continued to improve the specifications of its mini LED TVs, offering outstanding value for money thanks to mini LED innovations at TCL's Pangu Lab and its vertical integration with panel manufacturer CSOT. Compared to conventional LED LCD backlight technology, more mini LEDs can be packed into the same area, which brings two benefits. One, it allows for more refined segmentation of the backlit area into individually dimmable zones. Hence, the 5184 local dimming zones on the TCL X955. 2. Because there are more mini LEDs within the backlight plane, the diffuser and eventually the entire screen can be illuminated in a more even fashion, contributing to better backlight uniformity. Furthermore, 
TCL has applied a sophisticated micro lens onto each mini LED light source on the X955 to concentrate the light in a more effective manner, therefore not only enhancing overall image brightness and contrast, but also reducing light leakage and halation artifacts, all without needing to sacrifice the slimness of the TV. TCL calls this its lighthouse luminance technology. Okay, with contrast capabilities out of the way, let's talk about colors, similar to every flagship TCL mini LED TV introduced to date. The X955 uses quantum dot technology to deliver a white color gamut, covering 98% of the DCI-P3 color space. The X955 is powered by an AIPQ processor 3.0 that's found on TCL's other LED LCDs in 2023, which means the television is probably equipped with a MediaTek HDMI 2.1 chipset allowing for 144Hz VRR gameplay. Recognizing the importance of sound quality in addition to picture performance, TCL has also made extra effort to kit out the X955 with a 160W 4.2.2 Onkyo sound system, comprising front left and right channels, a pair of side-firing speakers, a pair of up-firing speakers, as well as two subwoofers. Together with integrated Dolby Atmos decoding, this powerful in-TV speaker system aims to deliver an immersive auditory experience that transforms your living room into a movie theater, especially given that the X955 is only available in two massive screen sizes of 85 and 98 inches. In terms of aesthetics, the TCL X955 features an ultra-slim unibody design, super thin bezels to achieve up to 98% screen ratio, a clean cable management system, not to mention high adjustable tabletop stand. If you can't stretch your budget or space to accommodate the top end X955, TCL has also announced a new C955 model at its virtual press conference, which will be available in four screen sizes of 65, 75, 85 and 98 inches. This is a mid-range QD mini LED TV with more than 2,000 local living zones and is specced to deliver up to 2,000 nits of HDR peak brightness. Other features on the TCL C955 include the company's AIPQ 3.0 picture processor, HDMI 2.1 support for 144Hz VRR gameplay, and a 120W 2.2.2 Onkyo sound system. Another QD Mini LED model unveiled at TCL's online launch event was the more affordable C755 series, which may be marketed as the C805 in certain European countries. Multiple screen sizes are available, ranging from 50 inches to a gigantic 98 inches. The 65-inch model will be equipped with more than 500 local living zones, which TCL believes is the minimum threshold required to provide good picture quality from a mini LED TV. Being the world's number one brand in the 98-inch TV segment globally, naturally TCL did not forget to showcase the 98P745, the most affordable 98-inch TV in the world. The TCL 98P745 will feature the brand's AIPQ 3.0 picture engine, multi-HDR support including for Dolby Vision IQ and HDR10+, and even two HDMI 2.1 ports capable of 144Hz VRR gaming, but the direct lit LED LCD TV won't have local dimming. Even though TCL also announced its new Fresh In Plus 2.0 air conditioning units, as well as refrigerators and washing machines at its online press conference, undoubtedly the stars of the show are the QD Mini LED TVs. In fact, with the launch of these new displays, TCL now offers the most comprehensive lineup of large-sized QD Mini LED TVs on the market, ranging from 85 inches to a frankly humongous 115-inch model. Fittingly, the company has enjoyed encouraging growth during the first half of 2023 even in tough economic conditions, with a 114.5% increase in global QD Mini LED TV shipment alongside almost 70% rise in global QLED TV shipment. As a result, TCL has established itself as the world's number two television brand behind Samsung Electronics, and since Samsung uses its own smart TV operating system, it follows that TCL is the number one Google TV brand in the world. TCL also remains the world's number one TV brand in terms of 98-inch TV market share globally, 
helped in no small part by last year's 98-inch TCL C735, whose popularity caught other TV manufacturers by surprise, despite how close the price was to a high-end ultra short throw projector. If you still can't decide whether to buy a 98-inch TV or an ultra short throw projector, we recently filmed a side-by-side -side comparison video of the TCL 98C735 versus an ultra short throw laser projector projecting onto a 100-inch ARR screen. You can watch the results by clicking here.